oh my gosh, I just got off of possibly the worst interview that I have ever conducted in my entire life. Thank goodness it was over the computer. It wasn't over face to face, or else, man, I would have had to just stand up and leave or politely excuse myself. If they were gonna go a different direction, I'll see you later, man. Either way, this made me want to shoot a little video here. Really, the factors that us person at Full Sail, a lot of companies in general, are looking for in new hires. There's one big thing that I realize that I'm not gonna talk about at all. So drop a comment down below if you realize what the piece of the puzzle is that I'm not touching on. And please do me a big old favor, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. We're gonna keep producing this content whether you like it or not. But ideally, if you like it, it'll help us get even more views so we can do even more content and make this fire. First things first, you want people who are action oriented to get stuff done. Oh yeah, Wayne, of course you want people who are action oriented to get stuff done. No way, man. Well, check it out. This is what it is. It's way more than just getting stuff done. It's all about taking actions before you're really asked or expected to take those actions. We really preach here at Full Sail that we're self-driven, we're self-motivated to get things done. We're action takers, we come up with new ideas, we don't just sit around. Here's a perfect example that I'm gonna show you. Here's a little fun video that our guy, uh, our video guy Alex, he went ahead and put together for us. It's this fun little video around National Donut Day. Yeah, it doesn't have to do much of anything with marketing, but it's still showcasing our video skills. We're putting fun content out there. That's just a little example of what I'm talking about. Being action oriented to get stuff done. Another awesome example is coming up with new initiatives. Our writer, Turner, last year he came up with a whole plan around strategically signing clients up for a winter blogging and marketing service to retain those clients that a lot of times in the contractor industry, they shut down, but being a marketing company, we don't shut down. We want to retain them and we decided just to shift them over to a different thing. Action number two, the ability to own it. This is essentially not complaining or really just not blaming other people or outside factors for your mistakes. All right, I bet you every employer that watches this video would agree with me, they hate excuses. Oh, I was late because my car wouldn't start. Oh, I was like, there was so much traffic in the road. God, I hate it. Or I didn't get the job done because Bobby didn't get me the stuff early enough. Well, uh, why didn't you help Bob? So it's the ability to own it, right? Here at Full Sail, especially, we preach this to people literally for the fact of just taking responsibility. Be ready to put the team on your back make it happen. Here's an awesome example for you guys, but this is actually myself. This is a personal mistake that I made. Last year, we got a new client. His client's name starts with an S, ends with painting, and in the first couple days that we had his Google ads up and running, as you can see here, we spent $989 around the terms Sherwin-Williams and Sherwin-Williams paint. I, this is a simple mistake. Their name starts with an S, so we are running ads around his branded name, and I'm controlling when people search for his company, what pops up, where they land, but I didn't put a negative keyword in here around Sherwin-Williams. I just didn't think about it. Completely my own fault. Spent $989 of my client's money wasted. Out the door, yes, Sherwin-Williams wasn't running ads at the time. Hey, Sherwin-Williams, if you see this, go ahead and drop a comment below or go ahead and message us. I'll do the ads for you because clearly I have experience. But either way, I needed the ability to own this. What we did, called up client. Hey, we messed up. Completely our fault. How would you like us to handle it? We can give you the money right now or we can try and work in other services. We actually opted to do a full video shoot. We flew up. Uh, shot video with him for a day. Those videos are actually on his website and have gotten him work now. I think a lot of 21st century companies, you don't want people that are going to complain or make excuses. 
is that biggest piece of the puzzle here, okay? We hold ourselves accountable, we hold each other accountable, and we own it. Next biggest thing is communication and transparency. When it comes to full sale, our clients know exactly what and why and when things are happening. Right now, we're almost entirely remote. Yeah, Logan and Alex are down in Charlotte, but other than that, the team is remote. With that can come some communication issues. So this is a little behind the scenes. I highly recommend this to everybody. It's called loom.com. It's essentially shooting video messages. Instead of just hiding behind an email, right, and just shooting an email out, a lot of times it has no tonality with it, has no body language with it. We're using loom.com. We're shooting video messages, just updating clients on what's going on, updating each other, because like I said, communication and transparency are huge. With the internet, with everybody having a phone in their pocket, you should be able to be reached 24 seven. Communication is huge. We really ask all of our employees to come to us if they have any problems. We actually have this cool uh, little thing in our Basecamp software and our team and our project management software. It's called Start, Stop, Continue. It fires off once a month and it's essentially asking everybody Hey, what do you personally and what do you want the company to start, to stop, and to continue? We're asking them, hey, what do you want management to start doing, to stop doing, continue doing, and what do you personally want to start, stop, and continue? Open discussion, open communication, complete transparency. What more can you want? Because if you are completely open with everybody, then there's no secrets. No one ever feels like there's a big elephant in the room or you're getting left out. That's why we are as transparent as possible and really strive that there's no gray areas in anything that we do. We got two left here, people. Stay with me after this one. Adaptability, so we're constantly evolving for the digital marketing space because it's changing so fast. We're trying to drill into our employees, into all of our hires, and ideally people who we are going to hire, we're asking them, what's your process of learning? How much are you reading? Are you listening to podcasts? Are you checking out blogs? We need to always be adapting and evolving so that we're not getting left behind. Just an example that Facebook is always changing. With that, staying in the digital marketing space, Google, SEO, constantly changing what they wanna see out of websites, out of businesses, so that Google feels comfortable to promote their stuff. And if we're just continually doing the same thing over and over again, you know, that worked last month or that worked last year, even that just worked two weeks ago, we're gonna fall behind. So we need to always be adapting, you know, being ready to make changes, boom, on the whim as much as we can. Pretty cool example that I love to share. We've been doing this almost since the start of the company. Every Wednesday, start of our Wednesday meeting, we go person to person, someone shares something that they learned this past week, something new, how they're gonna apply it to full sale as well as to our clients. We're just constantly evolving. Composure, guys. We're talking calm is contagious. Logan loves the saying of people don't hire businesses, people hire people. Now with that, who would you rather work with? Do you wanna work with someone that's aggressive or that if something goes bad or they get some bad news, their whole mood just shifts. They become all upset and angry and they're all of a sudden you can just you can feel that negative energy. You wanna work with someone that's calm, that's in a good mood, that has great energy. Whatever it is from home or if they had a little tiff with a other employee, they're not bringing it into the situation. We basically use every interaction, we base every interaction with poise and stoicism. I don't know what stoicism is. The endurance of pain or hardship without the display or feel or the display of feelings and without complaint. Probably a lot of people are gonna think this is a negative. They're gonna be like, oh, you don't want your employees to show feelings? Clearly not what I'm saying here. The end piece of the puzzle, without complaint. You need to be able to remove yourself from negative situations. And even if you if you can't, you know, display stoicism or poise, we encourage people then to pause take a step away and then come back and revisit a situation. It's all about just not bringing personal complaints, personal problems into work scenarios. Even if there is a small personal issue in the workspace, talk about it or at least don't let it affect 
your current work, our clients, we act with poise and stoicism because composure is contagious. Now here's the last piece of the puzzle, guys, that I think all of you guys have on your mind, is I hope you do, and it's to always have fun. This is a big thing that, honestly, I bet you if you say it to your next interviewer, right, to the next employer that you go work for, so you tell them, Hey, my goal is really to, to always have fun. Then you throw the understanding in there. Now, I know that every single day can't be a vacation. Nothing in life is like this. But I'm here because I'm gonna enjoy this work. Because when I enjoy what I'm doing, I do the very best at it. If you don't agree, go ahead and hit the little negative button down below. Just hit the dislike. I don't, I don't think I've ever told anybody to hit the dislike before, but that's such a big piece of the puzzle here, is we always like to have fun. Um, a small thing in that is, you know, we post little uh, memes and gifts during the day, right? Staying lighthearted, having fun, and we also, always ask everybody, every interview that I've ever held, almost every time that I talk to an employee, it's, hey, are you enjoying what you're doing? If you're not enjoying it, if you're not having fun, I want you to tell me and we'll figure out a transition path. When you stop having fun, when you start looking at work really as a chore, your mind gets bogged down, right? You're sort of depressed, you're not as active and thus you're not gonna be producing your best work. It's as simple as that. So that's everything that I got. That's literally what Full Sail and I think most digital marketing companies look for in new hires. We got action oriented, action oriented to get stuff done. Make moves, don't just wait around. Number two is the ability to own it. No more excuses. Next, communication and transparency. This is arguably my favorite. I was a communication uh, major back in college, actually. So communication and transparency is huge. Number four coming in here is adaptability so that we're constantly evolving, especially in the online space. Man, if you throw this into your next interview. The world is constantly evolving, so I actually strategically subscribe to a few email marketing lists to make sure I'm getting the most up-to-date information that there is. If someone straight up comes to me and says that in the interview, I'm gonna be blown away. Next, two left, right, calm is contagious, composure, stoicism, and of course, have fun. Guys, I hope this video's been a little bit fun. If you remember in the very beginning, I asked you, there's one thing that I'm not talking about at all, that I'm looking for in new hires that everybody always thinks about. What did I not touch on? Drop a comment down below if you nail it. We'll go ahead and give you a free giveaway. But until then, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you made it until the end. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. As always, look out later in this week. So we're dropping new videos twice a week, every week, trying to bring you the best content possible. Till then, I'm Wayne, Full Sail Marketing. We'll see you later.